Thank you for joining me. Brand image, customer experience, customer engagement. Now, that's the bit I need to talk to you on. Some of my connections, my friends would have seen, I put a little article on LinkedIn. Different conversations recently been having with businesses and with clients about the use of social media. Now, I talk massively about your customers being your unpaid sales force. And I need you to understand the fundamental basics of social media. Now, I know there are going to be lots of people possibly slightly upset with this video because it's their job, it's their business, it's you know how they make money. They go in and they tell businesses how to do their social media properly. Well, it's all right doing it, but you need to understand what it is. Now, one of my clients said, and explain it to me and my staff in your manner. He said, because your manner is always a little bit different. So that's what I'm going to do. You need to understand social media for me, and this is my interpretation, is no different to going down the pub. And you're all going to say, man, Dan, Dan, but bear with me, have a listen. You go down the pub on your own, you walk into the pub, the pub's a busy hive of activity. Lots of people at the bar, lots of people sitting in their regular chairs, and you know, you don't necessarily get to talk to that many people. You'll possibly go in, order a drink, sit up the corner, watch and observe. You're not known. They don't know you. Very simple. We can understand that. So the second time you pop into the pub, somebody sort of nods at you. Oh, he was in here the other day. How you doing? You all right? Yeah, yeah. Order your drink, sit down and you watch and you kind of see that the same people are sitting in the same places and big group round the pool table and there's, you know, a bit of a likely lad, as you'd call him possibly with a bald head and a loud shirt, chatting to people, knowing a few things, people are coming in, lots of acknowledgement. And, you know, not many people talk to you, they might just acknowledge you in there. Well, the third time you go in, and the fourth time and the fifth time, this gets easier and easier. But what I'm trying to understand and get you to go, you don't go straight into the pub and go, Oi, I'm here, this is what I do, here's my card. Because you'll just get chucked out and you'll be, you know, it's not going to be a happy experience. You go in step by step, building up over time. Now, there's another way of doing it, which is one of your friends takes you in and they know everybody and they're a regular. But let's go back to the original scene. So the more you go into the pub, the more you become accepted, the more you kind of, you'll stand at the bar and somebody will have an, a um, conversation and you go, yeah, what about such and such? And they go, oh, thanks, mate, no problem. And then over the course of time, you join in and you get accepted, you get acknowledged, and you get to the fact that people are interacting with you. Now, the more they're interacting with you, the more you're learning and the more you're gaining and the more your input is being accepted. So it's about engagement. It's about conversation. It's about being accepted. And what you have to say being probably of value to them. Now consider that in the social media world and I talk about generosity. If you go onto somebody's page or you see somebody's page or something comes up and you like it, you're giving your approval, you're giving your, yeah I like that, that's okay. And if you retweet it or you repost it or you relink it or you reshare it, you're giving your seal of approval. Now the thing being with that is that this group is now expanding and you're starting to get a subconsciously people are going oh you know that person's okay they liked what I do I'll send them a bit more and you know they all of a sudden then you say thank you and they say thank you and it starts to engage and it's a bit like the pub environment you're walking in hi mate you're right you so if you don't want to talk to them that particular time like you're with some friends you just acknowledge you hey do it lads be over in a minute you know and then you have your chat and then you pop in and slowly your network your friends grow now, this is where it's slightly different on social media, is that you've got to stay on top of this. Your team, your business have got to stay on top. And they've got to understand what is being spoken about and what other people are speaking about. And they've got to say thank you. And they've got to like it and they've got to share it and they've got to do everything else. So you're building up this engagement. Now, the one thing that I feel a lot of businesses aren't very good at and something that I've been trying with my clients is that if you've got customers retweeting your messages, pushing them out there to a new audience, to their friends, to their network, 
you need to be saying thank you and you need to be doing something about it. So for argument's sake, let's just put it in the pub scene again. You walk into the pub and you see Johnny sat at the bar, he's having a drink, he's, you know, playing pool, bit of a lad, you know, and you've been engaging with him over the last few, and you're like, how you doing, mate? You're all right, yeah, how's things? And you put a post up and Johnny shares it and likes it with the friends from another pub. So all of a sudden you've connected to a completely different audience, completely different demographic and geographic that you didn't even know existed because of him. So you've got to say, thank you, mate. Appreciate that. Anything else I can do for you? That's it. And if he says, yes, and I like this, or yes, I like this, or do whatever, you can move it on. But if you're not saying thank you, simplest, thanks a lot, thanks for that. Is there anything I can help you with? It's a conversation. If you don't say thank you for a simple thing like that, you're not going to get much further. And I need you to try and understand that. And it's something I push high, hard with my clients, that social media is about engagement. It's about conversation. It's about being social. It's about having social etiquette. And I know this sounds bizarre, but as, as a gentleman, I open the door for a lady because it's what I do, doing the right thing because it's the right thing to do. And it's the same on social media. Opening the door is saying thank you for a retweet or somebody posting or somebody sharing, somebody sending my thing somewhere else or me acknowledging the worth of one of my followers. So just recently you'll notice on Instagram, inspirational quote came out and I reposted it from somebody higher up the chain as it were. But I tagged in people that are inspirational to me now there's a beautiful, lovely model businesswoman over in Thetford, Hannah Louise Hibbs, absolutely amazing. It's taking a venue, making it into a wedding venue, an equine venue, still a model and a mum. Absolutely amazing woman. There's Guy Nichols, who I talk about quite a lot. Big businessman down in Ipswich. Grew up from one forklift truck to probably what is the biggest fleet of hire construction equipment in the country. The man is inspirational, gets up in the morning with a focus and a drive and his team all follow him and they work with him and he's in the yard and I've seen him in the yard walking around being engaged. Now on social media, they're doing exactly the same. They're saying thank you, they're saying please, they're, can I help you with this? Would you like any more information? They're being sociably acceptable and they are absolutely amazing people to follow. So bear this in mind when you get these social people come in to say we're going to run your social media. Basically what they're, what they're saying to you is you aren't capable of going down the pub and shaking hands and saying hello. So understand the message that you're putting out in fundamental basic terms because it's about you and your business being seen, being accepted, being socially responsible, polite and considerate, and thanking people, shaking hands, opening the door. Consider it that that's the fundamental basics of how you understand social media. It's a bit of media you do socially. Kind of simple from there, but I'd like to know your views on that. So please let me know. I'm about to pop out. Coffee time, so I've got the coffee in the uh, thermal cup ready to go into the truck and away we go take care